Okay, this is a proof of concept video to see if you could use solar energy and uh, run a motor using the solar energy heat rather than using a solar cell by getting a temperature differential between the inside temperature of, of house or the water temperature and then what you could collect with thermal energy from the sun rather than going into a solar cell. So I tried it this morning and it worked. Let me show you how I did it. That's a chunk of aluminum with black duct tape on it. And I'm using the sun here to heat that up on my patio. And let me show you the temperature differential between that and that and show you that it is enough to make this work. Okay, that's at 100 degrees right there. The felte right here is at 82. I'm going to put that on, put this on there with the black side down. And there goes my pulse motor. Hard to see that blink. That's the flyback from the coil there. But this was a proof of concept that you could take uh, solar energy and collect it in the form of heat rather than using a solar cell. And uh, this is the same thing that uh, solar water heaters do, but uh, this is converting it into electricity using a felt module. And uh, that's what these are. These are two felt in series with a 20 degree temperature shift to run a, uh, a motor. Proof of concept. Uh, if you put these in an array and made an array of those Felte modules and, and set this up correctly, I think this is something we could do. I think we could uh, augment solar with these uh, thermoelectric modules and, uh, and really make something happen. I read that they're actually incorporating the thermoelectric modules with the solar cells and photovoltaics and making a a combination already. So anyway, just a proof of concept that you can take the temperature differential between uh, a black surface heated up in the sun and an interior uh, or colder surface and make a motor run. Thanks for watching.